SpaceX continues stress testing as it waits to launch Starship. Falcon raises more Starlink satellites to orbit as the government raises concerns. Falcon Heavy shoots for the stars, and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. As SpaceX continues to wait for the green light from the government to launch their second Starship Super Heavy rocket to orbit, the testing of subsequent vehicles presses on. On Monday, Starship 26 was cryotested down at the launch site in Starbase, Texas, and Booster 11 has been relocated to Massey's in preparation for its own stress tests. And that's all the Starship news I have for you this week, so let's move on to Starlink. Also on Monday, Falcon 9 lifted 21 satellites to low Earth orbit from Slick 4 East at Vandenberg Space Force Base, California. Towards the 14th flight for the first stage booster, landing successfully on the Of Course I Still Love You drone ship bobbing on the Pacific Ocean. This week, SpaceX filed advance notice to the International Telecommunication Union of their intention to place 29,988 Starlink satellites in 288 orbital planes using W-band frequencies. While at the same time going after the FAA for a recent letter the government agency sent to Congress, calling on them to correct the October 19th report that named SpaceX's constellation as a possible threat to public safety if their satellites fail to disintegrate upon re-entry, leading to 28,000 potentially hazardous fragments raining down to the surface by 2035. SpaceX called the letter a product of deeply flawed analysis. Just minutes ago, the company launched their Falcon Heavy rocket with the Psyche spacecraft on board from Pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. Engine ignition and lift off. Lift off of Falcon Heavy and Psyche on a mission to a metal asteroid in deep space to study the building blocks of our planet's inner space. Here's a shot of booster separation for your viewing pleasure. Booster engine cut off. Side booster separation confirmed. Great shot there, the side boosters coming off the rocket. And back engine chill has started. Both side boosters flew for their fourth time, making a twin touchdown back at the coast. Here it comes. I don't know, Daryl, but that uh, that sonic boom was great for us. I'm sure Jim is excited over there. There's the second one. I'm sure the host desk over there is feeling that really well. Literally, our monitors were shaking. And now it's time for today's honorable mention. <laughs> Last Friday, ULA's Atlas V rocket hoisted the protoflight mission for Amazon's Project Kuiper to orbit from Cape Canaveral, stating this initial launch is the first step in support of development of Amazon's initiative to provide fast, affordable broadband service to unserved and underserved communities around the world. And that's it for today. See you a week from now. Until that time, Godspeed. Godspeed.